Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a chit chat get ready with you video. I feel like it's been so long since I've probably sat down and had a chit chat video. Now in this video it did start like quite chit chatty and then from there it went to like a tutorial, not a tutorial, that's not the word to use, but like I just start talking about the makeup products and then it's chit chatty so it's basically a bit of everything. Um, I just felt like you know it's been so long since I've sat down and talked to you guys, gave you a bit of an update in what's been going on in my life and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Um, yeah, so I hope you all enjoy this video. This is basically what the look came out like while I was chatting with you guys. Um, so yeah, for those who don't know me, my name is Blaze and I upload here on YouTube, which I have been and will be doing a lot more frequently now, now that I have a new job, which means it gives me so much more time to edit and film for you guys, which I'm so excited about. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love for you guys to do that. So hit the button down below so you can keep up to date with my videos. Also, if you want to get notified every time I make a video, then hit that bell as well and that will notify you when I'm uploading. If you do want to follow me on all my social media as well, like Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook and Twitter, everything is just Blaze Beauty. Again, I will have it here on the screen. So yeah, if you do want to see how I came up with this makeup look and watch a chit chatty video, get filled in on a few of the things that's been going on in my life, then definitely stay tuned and I'll see you in my next video. All right. Bye everyone. Okay. I literally have not done a sit down, get ready in so long. Like I don't even remember the last time I sat down and probably just like did. Okay. Okay. All right. We get it. But yeah, anyways, as I was saying, like, I do not remember the last time I did like a sit down, chit chat, get ready with me. So I thought today would be a lovely day to basically go ahead and do that. I'm going in with this new product here that I got. This is the Rose Hip Certified Organic Rose Hip Oil. So it just looks like that. My skin lately has been like so, um, like dry I don't know why but it has been so I'm just going to I'm just gonna do like a few drops on my face okay and hopefully bring some life back into my skin oh shit just missed my face completely. Okay, you're probably gonna pick this up on the camera. Not on the camera, but like through the sound. Can anyone hear this in the background? It's like my dad talking on the phone. I've also just did a fresh tan. So um, it's currently in like the process of developing at the moment. So hopefully I'll be able to, um, you know, match a foundation somewhat to what my tan is at the moment. So I'm going in with the Maybelline Matte and Paulus um, Fit me foundation in 220 and I'm just going to put that on my face oh bloody dropping everything I swear I'm just going to buff that into my face. So what has been going on? Seriously, my phone will not stop buzzing. I should probably put it on silent while I am filming. So for those who don't follow me on my other social media, like um, uh, Instagram and Snapchat, um, you probably wouldn't know this, but I just got a new job. So I'm really excited because with this new job, it's going, with this new job, it's going to allow me to be able to, oh, I've got the bloody like hiccups and I can't talk properly. Anyways, so with this job, I'm, um, 
it gives me a lot more time to be able to film and focus on basically my filming and my social media and all of that. So I'm really happy because with the job that I have now, because I work so many hours and I work for like really, really long hours, it doesn't really give me a chance to, it, I mean, it, it's really hard because it doesn't really give me a chance to film or time to edit. Like I barely have any time. So it's really hard for me to film and get that time in. Whereas the new job I have, it's, um, going to give me a lot more time to be able to do that so I'm really 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 happy with that okay I'm back so I've done my brows and now I'm just oh this phone listen oh no that's it so for my brow not for my brows for my eyelid primer I'm going in with the MAC soft ochre or soft MAC paint pot soft ochre sorry and this is to just pram those lids. I swear, I seriously love MAC makeup. I love the um, soft ochre. Like, I think it does just such a good job for priming the eyelids. It's really heavy duty. It doesn't make the eyeshadow crease or anything. I love it. Okay, and then to set that all in place, I'm just going in with this shade here from the Morphe Highlight Palette. Or oh shit, just went into a highlight color. Shit. Oh shit, I did it again. No way. Okay, so then I'm just going into some Makeup Geek eyeshadow. So I'm going in with Peach Smoothie and Creme Brulee. So I'm just doing a mixture. I don't even know like what look I'm going for today. Like I'm not really going for a look to be honest. I'm just kind of winging it. Anyways, I'm trying to think of like what else is like new. I mean, so I told you about how I got a new job, which I'm so, so happy about. Like, so, so happy about. Um, oh, yeah. So, obviously, if you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you would know that I went back to my cosmetic place. Um, so, yeah, I went back there the other day to basically just do like... A follow-up I guess you can call it so I went to do a follow-up and there's just a few things that I wanted to fix up on my um, my lips and my face so I um, went there and I basically just got some more filler put in along um, so I basically just got some more filler put along in my lips um, just to not necessarily plump them up more. I mean, obviously, because I got more in my lips, it does plump them up more. Um, I did want them to be a little bigger. So I went and got that touched up and just put a bit more in. And I also um, got some filler along up here near my eyebrows. And that was just kind of near the muscles. And that's just so my eyes don't drop as much. Um, and it keeps like my brows lifted a bit as well. Um, or my eyes lifted a bit so that's basically what I did there um, they literally didn't want to put like any more in my lips because I already have so much in there but you know I got them to do it in the end because I wanted them to be a little bit bigger and I don't necessarily I mean I feel like people have bigger lips than me so I don't know why they didn't want to do it but they did it for me in the end so I was happy about that okay I think this will do for eyeshadow not for eyeshadow but for like the crease I honestly like there is nothing better than makeup geek eyeshadows let's be real and Morphe I like Morphe too 
Then I'm just going to go into a bit of Cocoa Bear, which is this one just, oh no, this one here. And we're basically putting that over where I put Peach Smoothie and Creme Brulee, but more so on the outer corner of the eyes of near the crease area. And then with whatever's left on my brush, I'm kind of just bringing it in and just diffusing it all and buffing it out. I swear, I'm so like, what's that word? I'm so like when people just know, like they're gonna, they just know you're gonna do that. What's that word? Um, I don't know what the word is, it's not coming to my mind. But like, every time I go to do my makeup, it's like, my mind and my brain automatically goes for warm shades. Like, I wish I could pick up a palette sometimes and go, and go, I'm going to do a cool toned eye today. But it never happens. Like, never, ever, ever happens. Then I'm just going to go into Bitten, which is like that maroni red shade and we're just working that on the outer part of your eye and like just under where we put the other shadows so we're not putting it in the crease we're literally placing it just under so it's currently like a Friday and like everyone's getting like so excited because it's the weekend and I have work tomorrow like who wants to do that no one no one well I don't know maybe there are some people that want to do it but I'm not one of those people also don't mind my hair at the moment I know it's currently like a fuzzball but I just finished my fake tan so I just threw my hair in a bun and this is what it came out like lovely and also if you don't follow me on snapchat and instagram or facebook or twitter or any of those everything is just blaze beauty blah, blah. everything is just blaze beauty so because i always i guess like sometimes people like ask me like they go on my instagram and they direct message me and they'll be like um do you have snapchat and i do have snapchat um, but also, if you ever don't know, it's in my bio as well. But it's pretty easy. Everything's just Blaze Beauty anyways. Uh, I really, really want to go to America. Like, I've been before because my brother lives there, but I want to go again. I want to see. I want to see my brother. Okay, so I'm just going in with my BH Cosmetics Day and night palette i have not used this palette in so 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 long oh my goodness like it's literally been forever okay so i'm just going to spray my brush and then i'm going to dab it into this color here going to put it on my uh, lid oh no it's not coming out like it's pigmented as I wanted it to like come out I really want to get the Jacqueline I really want to get the Jacqueline and Hill Jacqueline and Hill I really want to get the Jacqueline Hill palette really badly like really badly if you do have it though is it any good let me know. I would love to know. So I'm literally going over my eye. Going over, going over, going over. Because it's just not coming out. It's like not that pigmented. So I'm literally just building up this colour. Building it up, building it up, building it up. I'm just going to go back into Bidden. And I'm just going to make like the outer bit a bit darker. And then with whatever's left on my brush, again, bring it in. This has come out like a berry plummy, a blurry plummy. <laughs> a berry, 
Oh, what is wrong with me today? I can't bloody speak. This is a berry. A berry. See, I just did it again. I just did it again. I meant to say this is a very, like, berry plummy look. That's what I was trying to say. I like, seriously, it's like I can talk and then as soon as I go on camera, <laughs> I can't fucking talk. I can't like, I can't like, you know, speak. Like I can speak, but like, it's just my words get all like mumbled and jumbled about. And I'm quite happy with that now. Time for concealer. So the concealer I'm going in with today is the Maybelline Fit Me. I swear this is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. This is the one in light or yeah, light. So I'm thinking of doing a video because I know everyone likes um, like drugstore videos, um, like with drugstore makeup. So I'm thinking of doing a video and it's just going to be drugstore makeup. If you'd like that, definitely let me know. I'm going with the beauty blender and spraying the shit out of that. Oh shit, that went all over my phone. Ugh. Okay. Like, I know it's meant to be wet, but let's be real. I can't be bothered to go downstairs and freaking wet this beauty blender. I do that all the time. I go to film and I totally forget to wet the blue, the bloody blender, the bloody blender, the beauty blender, like, and then I can't be bothered to go all the way downstairs and just wet it. So I just use my makeup spray. Does anyone else do that? So to set that all down, I'm going in with the banana shade in the DD, which is the Desi Danger um, Morphe highlight palette. And I'm just gonna set under my eyes. There's a movie out at the cinemas. I don't know if it's still out though, because I said I wanted to see it a couple of weeks ago, and it's been like a couple of weeks, so I don't know. But it's called um, Baby Driver, I think it's called. But someone said it's really good, so I really want to like check it out. Um, has anyone else seen it? It's got that, oh, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now, but it looks really good in the preview. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go on YouTube and search the trailer because it looks really good. I'm just going to finish underneath my eyes. I really want the bottom of my eyes to be very like smoked out. Like I don't want it to be very clean underneath. I want it to be very like smoked out. I'm literally just going to smoke that right underneath um, my bottom lash line. Has anyone been watching um, The Bachelor? Oh my god. So like I'm literally, when it comes to The Bachelor, I'm literally obsessed um, with that show. So if anyone doesn't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about The Bachelor in Australia that's playing, like that's on air at the moment um, or on TV at the moment. Anyways, so there's this... Um, there's these two girls, um, for those who don't watch it, if you do watch it, you know who I'm talking about. Jen and Leah. Um, they're like, I don't know. I don't even know if they're like legit, like actually want The Bachelor or if they are just put on there to make drama. Probably are because honestly, I've never seen such bitches in my life. Like they're so bitchy. Like. Sometimes, like, I just can't stand bitchy people, but these people are, like, like, these girls are literally, like, when they are on the screen, you just want to, like, grab them and be, like, shut up, like, oh, and she keeps saying, like, oh, don't touch my boyfriend, like, that's my boyfriend. No, like, bitch, that's not your boyfriend. He's not going to be your boyfriend. Like, oh, it gets me, like, so annoyed, but... Like, I just get so revved up by it because, like, I feel like when I'm watching it, like, I'm there. And they have, like, the um, cocktail parties and stuff. And, like, obviously at the cocktail parties, they give them, like, 
obviously free alcohol and they drink it and obviously they're going to get drunk and the point of that would be obviously for more drama to happen on the show but um but yeah like it's just like getting juicier and juicier each episode like I am loving it like personally if because Maddie, which is the bachelor he was on the last um he was like on the bachelorette for the last season personally if i was georgia which was the bachelorette on last season i would have chose maddie like he's so nice and he's really good looking and like as if you wouldn't have chosen him like i tell you what show i, I tell you what show i really have to start catching up on though home and away i'm like i have it on series link so it's like already like recorded but like I literally have been so busy I've missed out on I think I've like I've missed out on like three weeks of it so far and I really 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 need to start catching up to it like badly okay so this is like decisions decisions to wear winged liner or to not wear winged liner like I absolutely love this winged liner this is the NYX matte liquid liner best liquid liner in the world like like this eyeliner it puts it on high-end eyeliners like you just you can't beat it okay you can't beat the NYX liquid matte liner but I'm thinking today I'm not going to do lashes I mean I'm gonna do lashes I mean I'm not gonna do a winged liner what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line the top bit of my eyes so the band can blend in so for lashes today I'm using the glam intense lashes okay so I'm back now I know I said I wasn't gonna do any winged liner but let's be real I freaking love winged eyeliner so um, I was off camera trying I was off com ugh. I was off camera trying to find um, the scissors to cut my lashes and then while I was off camera I quickly just drew it on nothing too special anyways um, but yeah, so I'm just going to pop these lashes on and that will be the eye look, oh shit, that'll be the eye look, oh shit, that will be the eye look nearly done. Okay, so that is both lashes done. So I'm just going to put some mascara over the top. This is the Rock and Doll Essence Volume Mascara. So then I'm going to go in with my Savvy Pressed Powder in Sand Beige. Now this color is literally the best fit for a fake tan like for my skin like I literally have come across the best matching pressed powder there could have been for me when I'm tanned it's going to go in with some brow gel this is my favorite one as you guys would know it's from BH cosmetics it's in the shade brunette and it's the perfect shade for my brows like it's a bit lighter than my brows but that's what I like I like lightening up my brows with um, like with um, a brow gel so then I'm just going to go into this Kajal pencil um, it's this one's in black and I'm just gonna put this in my waterline so then I'm just going to go back in with my essence the sun's literally moving over and it's starting to hit my face. I can see it in the um, viewfinder, so sorry if that happens. Alright, I'm just going to pull up my lower lashes. Moving on, just going in with the shade and light palette. Just going in with these two shades along here. Just going to mix them to contour my face. Don't you love what contouring does? Like, honestly, how good is it? 
hopefully you guys can see like my makeup like this sun I just I'm trying to dodge it and it's seriously just not happening like it's I can see it on my shoulder here and like when I put my hand up like hello hello sun see you later can you go away now thank you you are not wanted right now when I'm trying to film like I like the brightness and the light but I do not like the Sun because the Sun makes me look weird colored like look at that makes me like no I just want to stay the one color why I'm filming please like when I lay my head over boom Sun how you doing how you doing honey you're blinding me you're making my eyesight I can't see thank you like oh Okay, so I'm just going to go in with this Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer. It looks like this. It's actually really, really... I don't know if you can see that. Wait a minute. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually really, really, really nice. I'm just going to put a little bit of colour back into those cheeks, girl. It's all right, so then I'm going in with the Astralis Makeup Finishing Spritz. I wanted to use my MAC Fix Plus, but it's currently left at my mum's in the Central Coast, which is very freaking annoying. All right, so just drowned my face in that. So I think I'm going to go in with this top one here. And this middle one and just time to highlight highlight that face honey become a disco ball you know the huge I'm going in with my BH cosmetics lip liner in stripped and just gonna outline these lips I swear BH Cosmetic lip liners are hands down the best lip liners I ever used. If you don't have them, seriously get on top of it because you honestly do not know what you're missing out on. They are so freaking good. Okay, and then to finish up, I'm just going in with the Essence Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. And honey, if you have not used this, seriously, get your hands on it because it is so freaking nice. Like, can we just take a moment? Like, come on, how nice is that lip gloss? Look how nice it is. I'm seriously living for this lip gloss. I don't know, it was so cheap and it's so freaking good. So if you do not have it, please, please get your hands on it. Okay, so I'm back guys. This is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Follow me on all my other social media and I'll see you all in my next video. All right, bye guys.